Wow, this is a throwback. Almost 45 years ago, I stood here with my wife, Mary. We were invited by a group of about 25 people who were meeting here at 157 uh, Leisure Way. They invited us to be their pastor. You know, when I think back, I can't remember, we were probably in this place, we probably reached 300, we ran three services. Everything we did, and you know, people that know me, I'm a geek in organization and administration. Everything we did, I did it with the idea that we needed to be able to fit 5,000 people. Our vision is to reach those that want to hear what the Word of God has to say, to have the hope of Christ, and to get biblical textual teaching. That's what we were probably known for and we're still known for. We open the Bible and we teach through the Bible. And I remember so many nights here at Potlucks gathering, so many great stories and so many great things that God did. And now 45 years later, we're here, we're talking about doing expansion on our property. Thank you for being a part of that. Thank you for catching the vision that we have to take the next steps. When I joined the staff at Valley Church back in 2005, I had no idea what God was up to, but I knew God wanted me to come and join with Pastor Raleigh and Jack and the team to move the vision of Valley Church forward. I really didn't have any clue that three years into things, the executive team would meet with me and ask me if I would enter into a succession plan with Pastor Raleigh to become the new lead pastor. For the last 14 years, I've been so pumped to be able to serve this church and this community. And now here we are getting ready to build a new facility and expand our vision and our reach right here along this corridor. I just am blown away at the way he has used us for 40 plus years. The new community center will serve not only as new worship space, but will give us the opportunity for a myriad of new opportunities for outreach and basketball camps, volleyball camps, ministry to the community, as well as a disaster relief center if our community needs it for things like fires, earthquakes, floods. We're so excited where God has planted us and we're ready to serve this community for the glory of Jesus Christ. We want everyone, every family, you think about every little child that's gonna come in and move around into these new neighborhoods and they're gonna need to know that Jesus loves them and we're here for that and so we're so excited to be able to expand not only just our campus but our ministry reach around our region around our community and around the world i'm walking out here on the uh, additional 10 acres that valley purchased which as you can see is undeveloped we're ready to look to break ground uh, this coming summer god has been blessing by bringing consultants and engineers and and uh, construction people to us, and we see his hand at work each and every day, actually. And then envision on either side of this driveway, large areas for sports fields. And there's such a need for sports fields in the, in the community of Vacaville. And then also in, envision a beautiful sign, heavily landscaped right along the frontage of our, of our property, out on Leisure Town Road we'll be able to enlarge our facility to be able to bring even more of those that they can be blessed, that they can get to know the Lord that we know and that we serve. We're not trusting in the facility, it's just a building, but it's a building that God can use as a tool to reach many, many more souls that need Jesus here in our community and to help them grow up in their faith. And so just imagine a community without Valley Church. I mean, Valley has been so instrumental and continues to be so instrumental in the spiritual climate here in Vacaville, together with many other great churches that God has raised up. Without Valley, I mean, you think about there would be two less churches planted just down the freeway in Dixon and in Davis. Without Valley, uh, there wouldn't be the Alamo Gardens Center in partnership with Eleven, where dozens of kids every year get tutoring and, and love and, and direction, and most importantly, the gospel. You know, if you haven't given yet to the Rooted Campaign or made a commitment to give, I want to encourage you to join April and I. And I say that because I want you to know that as your lead pastor, I'm in the fight with you. Our new facility, like I said, is not just gonna be a new building for us, but a new place for our community to meet and experience Jesus. So we couldn't do it without you, Valley. Let's all do our part. If we all do a little, we can accomplish a lot. And I'm so grateful to be on this ride with you.